All right, Coach Goodale, look who I run into here at the Ohio State Championships 2014. Rutgers, Jersey coming over here to Ohio, huh, Coach? Yeah, well, you know, we're getting into the Big Ten uh, next year. It's time we started venturing out to the Midwest a little bit, get some of these Midwest boys. It's a great tournament. Uh, not a huge fan of the way it's run. It's hard. I'm a bracket guy, and it's hard to keep track of three brackets at once, but there's a, there's a lot of talent, and it's, uh, it's great to be out here for sure. You guys, you know, the move, the huge move coming up for you guys. Uh, you know, moving from one pretty good league to the league, what is that transition going to be like, and what has the university done to, you know, to transition into that athletic department-wise? Well, I think our athletic department is, is really – I believe is ready for the move. We, we, you know, it's been a year now or a year and a half since we've got the announcement. So I believe they're ready for the move. From a wrestling standpoint, it's so secret. We got to get better. It's it's a tremendous conference, uh, night in and night out. You know, and we've wrestled Big Ten teams, maybe two or three in a year, but never nine dual meets. So, and of course, the conference tournament is such a grind. So it'll be a tremendous challenge. It's not something, obviously, we're going to get in there right away and make tremendous noise. I do think we have a young, up-and-coming team, so we're excited about that. Uh, I think we'll be competitive, but as we know, it's it's a very, very difficult conference. A lot of people in, uh, around the country and in New Jersey you know, have said, we don't know what we're getting into. We absolutely understand what we're getting into from a wrestling standpoint. We all follow the sport, uh, big fans of the sport, and uh, the Big Ten is, is the Big Ten. It's a tremendous conference, so uh, we've got to do a better job recruiting. we got to get better guys in there and continue to do that, not one year, but year after year after year, to be able to compete down the road. Tom Tannis. What's that mean, name mean to you when I say Tom Tannis, Coach? Last All-American. Last All-American for you guys at O2? O2, correct. So, you know, obviously uh, I gave that question to Jim Anderson a lot. Kent State didn't have an All-American for 23 years. Once they busted it open, then they get a, you know, a national champ. I think once you guys bust one open, you're probably going to go right a a along that route, but probably even better because you'll be a big-time school, and it's really going to rain when it pours, I think, for you guys. But how often do you hear that question, and what are you guys doing to, to, to get another All-American and get batches of All-Americans? Uh, it's a great question. We hear it every day, every day, uh, especially in that state where we're at, where there's tremendous expectations. People want winners, and in this sport, they want All-Americans. So it's it's uh, there's a lot of pressure behind it. There's expectations, but why else she in it? So we, we take it on, you know, we take it head on, and uh, we battle it every day. And we know, and more importantly, the guys on our team know, you know, that it's something we're 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 missing. It's it's the the mark on our program, whether it's a positive something to shoot for or a negative where we haven't had one. So it's on our program. It's something we absolutely need to do. We're well aware of it. Uh, and you're right, when it happens, it's going to open the floodgates and it's going to continue to happen. You know, winning breeds winning, and, and we're just waiting for that one guy to bust through. And once it happens, I think it'll be it'll be a great situation at Rutgers. So it's something that needs to happen because it's, it's, it's been Ohio. You know, coming here to the Midwest, you know, you got to get Midwest guys, but how important is it to keep Jersey guys in Jersey? You know what? I get that a lot. It's, it's important if they're the right guys. You know, it's not important if they're not the right guys. It, they, at this level, and I, I found this out going from high school to college, you need to love what you're doing, you know, every day of the year. Not, not during wrestling season. You need to love what you're doing, and it needs to be a part of your life and a part of your lifestyle. It's not something you pick up, you know, October 1st and say, let's train for the season. It's, we, we need the Jersey guys, but they need to be the right guys. And, and that means on the mat, off the mat. You know, doing all the right things. It's, it truly is a lifestyle. And I, I've li listened to all the interviews, talked to the best coaches in the world, and, and it's, it is. It's true. T to succeed at this level, you need to be the right kid. And it's not for everyone. So, And we've learned that, out, we've learned that sometimes the hard way. When you have a guy like, you know, Scott Winston, who you know is a good person, the guy you coach in high school, and, and he doesn't achieve his goals, and that's what people measure you on as yeah. the All-American. But knowing they're still good people, and you know they did, they did everything they could, what does that mean to you? You know, kind of people are, are down on you guys when you have, they're good people. Mm -hmm. you no, know, they're just not, you know, getting on the podium or whatever, but what, what does that mean to you, and how much does that hurt when people criticize it, guys? Yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot. You know, Scotty is obviously very dear to me. He's a grew up in our, our program in Jackson and came with me to Rutgers, took a huge chance where he could have went anywhere in the country. And, uh, you know, things didn't work out for whatever reasons, whether it's, I mean, I believe we had the workout partners. Okay. All right. So I, I, I believe, you know, he's the, uh, yeah, he's, he's what people look at in our program and we kind of get judged on that. And it's, 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 I don't think it's right. You know, there's, 
there's a lot of really, really good guys that come into high school with great credentials and aren't all Americans. So Scotty's a great kid. You know, whatever he decides to do, he's going to be successful at it. Uh, he had a good career for us. Um, and he's just a good person. So we'll, I'll, we'll take that hit. That's fine. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. We're getting run out of this arena. Yep. We're going to go out and talk a little bit more in the hallway here. Yep, that's fine. And uh, I appreciate the time. You got it.